commercial free Catholic charismatic channel. He's strengthening the faith of so many people. To promote the gift of church teaching, dedicated for the new evangelization. God's blessings on your work, may God bless and prosper you. Shalom World, God's own channel. Welcome uh, to our Holy Eucharist from St. Francis of Assisi Sefner. I'm the pastor of this parish, Father Michael O'Neill, and uh, our Holy Mass this morning is being filmed by Shalom World. Praise be Jesus our Savior. Amen. Come to the feast of heaven and earth, come to the table of plenty, God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty. Oh, come and sit at my table, where saints and sinners are free. We begin our Holy Eucharist in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Peace be with you. We're joined this morning by Father Jos once again. We gather as God's children uh, to ask our Heavenly Father to forgive us our sins uh, so that we are worthy to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas, and since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, so that in following your commands we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. And we ask you this in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We continue our reading from the book of Exodus. God directs Aaron and Moses how to bring the people out of Egypt. Although Moses and Aaron performed various wonders in Pharaoh's presence, the Lord made Pharaoh obstinate, and he would not let the children of Israel leave his land. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This month shall stand at the head of your calendar. You shall reckon it the first month of the year. Tell the whole community of Israel, on the 10th of this month, every one of your families must procure for itself a lamb, one apiece for each household. If the family is too small for a whole lamb, it will join the nearest household in procuring one and shall share in the lamb in proportion to the number of persons who partake of it. The lamb must be a year old male and without blemish. You may take it from either the sheep or the goats 
you shall keep it until the fourteenth day of this month, and then with the whole assembly of Israel present, it shall be slaughtered during the evening twilight. They shall take some of its blood and apply it to the two doorposts on the lintel of every house in which they partake of the lamb. That same night they shall eat its roasted flesh with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. It shall not be eaten raw or boiled, but roasted whole with its head and shanks and inner organs. None of it must be kept beyond the next morning. Whatever is left over in the morning shall be burned up. This is how you are to eat it, with your loins girt, sandals on your feet, and your staff in hand. You shall eat like those who are in flight. It is the Passover of the Lord, for on this same night I will go through Egypt, striking down every firstborn of the land, both man and beast, and executing judgment on all the gods of Egypt, I the Lord. But the blood will mark the houses where you are, Seeing the blood, I will pass over you. Thus, when I strike the land of Egypt, no destructive blow will come upon you. This day shall be a memorial feast for you, which all your generations shall celebrate with pilgrimage to the Lord as a perpetual institution. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Lord be with you. 
a reading from the holy gospel according to matthew glory to you lord jesus was going through the field of grain on the sabbath his disciples were hungry and began to pick the heads of grain and eat them when the pharisees saw this they said to him see your disciples are doing what is unlawful to do on the sabbath he said to them have you not read what david did when he and his companions were hungry how he went into the house of god and ate the bread of offering which neither he nor his companions but only the priests could lawfully eat or have you not read in the law that on the sabbath the priests serving in the temple violate the sabbath and are innocent i say to you something greater than the temple is here if you knew what this meant i desire mercy not sacrifice you would not have condemned this innocent man for the son of man is the lord of the sabbath the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ During his public lifetime, uh, Jesus, our Savior, uh, met with a lot of opposition. Uh, strange to say, the opposition came from uh, within the church, from within the Jewish, the Judaic law, from the law of his ancestors, and most of these laws were there. Uh, to support uh, respect for god and yet they were interpreted in a very strict way by the religious leaders of jesus day by the scribes and pharisees you remember for example on other occasions how jesus uh, upset this law by curing people on the sabbath he cured people on the sabbath and that was interpreted by the religious leaders as breaking the sabbath law no work on the sabbath not even curing that was work here we have another example of jesus uh, opposing the law if you like and this one the law of fasting certain days were set aside for fasting and here were jesus uh, disciples walking through a corn field picking the ears of corn because they were hungry harvesting them so as to eat the grain breaking the sabbath you cannot harvest grain on the sabbath these were very strict interpretations of the judaic law and jesus uh, message to his religious leaders and to us indeed is it's the spirit of the law that counts and not the letter the spirit of the law is one of love and mercy uh, and not necessarily the letter of the law could that possibly happen in our day yes it could for some strange reason the longer a law lives once the law hits the books the law book and uh, the longer it lives the more little regulations begin to surround it to uphold it because there are going to be breakages in the law laws were made to be broken we say okay so therefore laws are broken and we have to introduce more laws 
uh, to support the law. That's the way it goes. And the longer it goes on and on and on, the more laws or legalisms will support it. You know, it happened in our church. Our church is an old church, 2,000 years old. So therefore, over the centuries, we're bound to kind of, you know, bring on uh, little laws to support the general laws, the principles of our faith. Fasting is certainly one of them. You know, we all like our food and therefore, <laughs> therefore we're going to find ways around fasting. And you know, before Vatican II, you don't remember, I do, uh, before Vatican II, we had very strict fasting laws. You know, during Lenten fast, very strict fasting laws that were really out of this world, you know. Vatican II came along with the pruning of the Holy Spirit and kind of dispensed with a lot of those small little laws and the laws of fasting. Other laws were there, for example, uh, laws pertaining to um, indulgences. Did you ever hear of indulgences? Okay. We had many indulgences on our books back then, you know, and uh, certain prayer would introduce 30 days of indulgence for the souls in purgatory. Another heavier prayer would bring on 100 days maybe. And the thing was all brought down to nuts and bolts, and it was ridiculous, really. Looking back, it was ridiculous. The Holy Spirit, through Vatican II, which kind of looked at the liturgy in general, um, dispensed with most of these little legalisms uh, that Jesus uh, fought against in his day. So, end of story. We must beware of bringing in little laws to support other laws, to support other laws, so that we eventually lose the spirit of the law. And the fulfillment of the law of God for us is love. Love is the fulfillment of the law. So that's the determining factor, love. Going out, meeting the needs of those uh, who are in need. That comes first. If we have to break a little law in doing so, let's break it. But love is the fulfillment of the law. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Let us stand and uh, place before our Heavenly Father all the needs of this day. We are remembering all our departed ones, Mary Abraham, all those who have died recently in our parish. May the Lord be with them and grant them eternal rest in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, who has completed his journeys down south, South America. May he continue to witness to God's love in our world. We pray to the Lord. We remember to pray to for our president and his administration and that uh, justice and peace may be the determining factor of their administration. We pray to the Lord. For all those, our brothers and sisters across the world who are suffering for their faith, and they are many, may the Lord strengthen them uh, through the power of his Spirit. We pray to the Lord. And for any other intention we have brought here this morning. Heavenly Father, bless us and bless the intentions we present to you in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord give you the sacrifice with your hands for the glory of his name, for our good and the Lord Jesus Christ. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit. And we ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, and through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. Fulfilling your, your uh, will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of a faith. Proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of the Lord, uh, we may be gathered together into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. 
welcome them into the light of your face. How mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Francis, Assisi, our patron, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Let us share with one another the peace of Christ. Peace. 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 Take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please join in our communion song number 426, Prayer of St. Francis, number 426. Make me a 
Let us pray. <clears throat> At this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, as it foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church. This we ask in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thank Thanks be to God. We shall have our second song, number 435, One Spirit, One Church. Number 435. Thank you. 
once again.